Um, I've got photos here of thousands of cars in line in Dallas, Texas, waiting for food. Many of them probably filled with children, 40% of whom have never been to a food bank before. On my other hand, I've got a photo of people in my own hometown of Minneapolis in line for food. And it's not 1933 in America, it's damn it, it's 2020 in the United States of America. We're standing in front of a temple of democracy behind me. And I think our founders would be ashamed of us right now. Ashamed of us, the inability to do the most basic, human, necessary work for the most prosperous, extraordinary country that this globe has ever known. But I come here not to condemn anybody, rather to extend an invitation to all of the Americans who might be watching this and who are wondering if they can have faith in government anymore, if this place could ever operate again. I understand why you might ask that, but I also ask you to look at my brothers and sisters behind me, Democrats and Republicans from all around the country with varying backgrounds and life experiences and different political perspectives, but remarkably unified in doing what's best for this country. And I am so proud to be part of this group because we are trying. And my invitation is to everybody else in the three buildings behind you and on the other side of this one behind me to come together and do the most basic of basics for the people in our country. That's what our founders would have expected. And as the world watches the United States of America right now, after the recent election, and they wonder about our democracy right now, Let's give them a reason to believe it works. That's why I'm here. That's why my brothers and sisters are here. God bless America. Thanks, everybody. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.